Hey, welcome to Real Liberty Media, folks. This is uh, Vince Easley. I'm your host for What Matters, uh, Ponder Gander. Today, uh, environmental control and uh, the threatening word. So, I've taken that second part, the threatened word, that is, uh, uh, that second set of words in the title from uh, my uh, other somebody that I do radio with, slash somebody in a perfect world. Yeah, the threatened word. Um we listened to the first 10 minutes of Ammon Bundy at uh, Loving Liberty on the Liberty Effect. Big shout out to Brian Hyde. Thanks for all your work over there and other really fantastic broadcasters. Uh, looking at this place that we live in here. Uh, this environmental control now, uh, we'll be, we, I will, uh, and well, when I'll, I'll say we then because other people are saying some of the same things. And so we'll discuss. Uh, some of these ideas of where this actually lands in the world around us, and then also um, I like to double play a lot. So this will also be talking about this control that we have or supposed to have in uh, that three-foot space around us that reaches so, so far through the webs into the world through the wonderful ether that be there or be there. So the uh, the threat word, word and subject to control um, Emma's talking about the green theology, and uh, I'd like to bring it back in and how it would be censoring uh, content. Uh, also, we'll look at the idea of uh, minnows and men. Uh, maybe it's like the day the crayons quit. But uh, um, contrasting standing in the gap and, as opposed to not being the whack a mo. And let me play with some words here. Seek how <laughs> behind the woodshed uh, for the Nazis. Uh, I hope you'll have fun with those words. Yes, Mr. Hal Anthony uh, comes along Sunday right here at Real Liberty Media at noon o'clock on the left coast of America. And uh, notice in the news, uh, I want you all to listen. Now, I'm especially going to be passing this over to uh, Brian Hyde and ask that he have a few folks give a listen. Uh, Hal Anthony has uh, been a, a, a tremendous pathfinder and guide for me these last several years. At, and he's he's tried to get word up to, well, from, well, they got word to me at least in, in Bunkerville of 2014 and tried to get it up there to the Oregon standoff, the Sugar Pine Mine. Um, Hal's going to want to try to guide you through of keeping yourself, of uh, putting yourself in that path of destruction of uh, the occupation and the uh, that which uh, is, is upon us today in the world that we live in. We're trying to seek a, a path of peace and, and that's settled in law. Now it's become quite a quite convoluted and, and you, you heard uh, Ammon talk about Curon Suckling and the Bio, uh, Center for Biological Diversity. I, I say I come to you. <coughs> there's uh, there's the Sky Reef posting about the Oregon standoff on Twitter now. Uh, be a sheepdog, I say, not a wolf. Um, look, violence has its place in the world. It's not to be weak. Uh, you can be strong and good at the same time. And that's some uh, paraphrased plagiarism of mine from um, the. Uh, <laughs> The audio book I forgot to write down. Oh, I think it was Plague Wars. Uh, so, is that where I want to be and where I want to go from? Where to? Uh, yeah, some notes here. I said I, I want to uh, hear more of what I disagree with. If they're wrong, I, I, I even want them to say more. Now, there's a big move to uh, the censor of uh, of people in this world today, and what they're saying, what their uh, their ideology, and then there's some that uh, think that they should say what uh, what should be said or not be said. So we be kind of bouncing back to that. Now I bet Ammon out there in 2014 in in uh, Bunkerville, Nevada, along the Virgin River, and where a great many uh, Americans and people from around the world gathered. It was a a first time in history, really, event where so many people came together and said, "Look, 
to the government. These uh, people uh, repre representing themselves as government uh, that, uh, look, it's not okay for you to do what you're doing. Now, what was going on? What was going on out there? Um, and what, what was uh, happening in that day, but what built up to it? Now, I, my conversation with Ammon Bundy along with uh, Jason Patrick uh, brought me to uh, the witness list in the trial starting in um, back here. Wow, it's already been so long ago, isn't it? Uh, huh? So 2017 started it out there, and then in 2018 it was uh, dismissed in January. There it is already more than a year later. But is it over? It's not. And what started it, and what brought it to the point of what it was, well, tortoises was really the uh, the big uh, kicker in saying that uh, the cows were killing them by stepping on them or kicking them, I don't know, playing uh, tortoise ball, desert hockey, or whatever the cows might play on <laughs> while they're home on the range. But it's really, it's really a, not a true story. So if the Mundies are told, like so many other, and I mean, they're not the... Uh, they're not the uh, only ones that have been affected. It's, it's been ongoing and continuous throughout the West. There's a long, 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 long list of names. Ammon Bundy spoke a few of uh, Joe Robertson and some other folks there. And of course, the Hammonds and uh, uh, Hay. Like I said, the uh, list is long. Who, who is those people up there that come to uh, represent for the government? Dan Love, the special agent in charge for the uh, Bureau of Land Management, uh, in partnership with folks like the U.S. Forest Service, the Forest Service, and uh, other governmental agencies, and um, uh, Department of Interior um, guys there. Yeah, loaded for bear, or loaded to uh, prevent those from bearing arms, perhaps. What was it? Why? 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 Why did it ever come to that? Well. Man, it's been more than 20 years ago. Uh, Clive and Bunny, he says, uh, I don't think I'll pay you guys anymore for your mismanagement of my range rights. Now it comes to the point where people are saying, oh, he's running his cows, they're trespassing them on uh, public public lands. Whereas in the public domain has specific uh, uh, rights and ownership in there uh, for mining and uh, well, tra egress and ingress, uh, uh, hunting, fishing, hiking, uh, mining. These are something that are actually uh, tangible rights that you can own. You own the minerals in the ground. If, let's say you made a claim out there. Or, um, all the different ways that uh, come into uh, being able to extract these minerals from the ground. Uh, but you don't own the land itself, right? So you Taking that out and putting, the, leaving the dirt behind, even if it's in tailing piles. Now, something else is owned is the the browse on the ground, the uh, the the bushes are growing, and the grass, and also water. Uh, there's certain stipulations for all of these to be maintained, but uh, early on, from the 1900s, we had uh, what was uh, what was called a uh, range war. I'll not be too strict. I'll keep over here. I'll come check y'all flashing me over there. Um, the range war. And along come uh, uh, settlement and peace. For, for peace in law and establishing the boundaries. And say good fences make good neighbors. And you see uh, in the cells of the body, the borders, you know, that's part of protecting that and, uh, and maintaining order. We find that in law where it is settled peace. Now, when you get some convolution that comes along, we see uh, elsewise uh, through legal. Well, Giron Suckling and uh, the biologic, uh, the Center for Biological Diversity, they came along and said that uh, uh, there was cows out there causing detriment in the desert. That uh, tortoises uh, and, and endangered uh, species from the from that act that came in the 70s was being harmed. Now I've covered this before and we've looked at all these different places where cows exist and then were pl uh, places where cows were excluded. Now, also included into these animal life would be uh, uh, sheep. 
when you get into uh, wildlife, you would uh, consider uh, uh, from the from the bunny to the bu and the bug up on up to the bighorn sheep, let's say, and uh, several, of course, in between wild burros, uh, horses. Now these are um, reestablished animals that have been there for now hundreds of years. Now also in the past hundred years, there's been uh, uh, cattle to to uh, do uh, comparison with, and they've uh, been up people that have counted tortoises for uh, uh, for whatever reason. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and, and I find that uh, it seems that the numbers get skewed um, at times. Let's see. I'm going to pause here in my pondering here um, and see if I didn't have something else right back over here. No. Okay, I got all them, and I probably got some somewhere else. Oh yeah, and I got a line of other stuff to cover. All right, but let me continue here with thinking about this this tur turtle. Now I like to call it uh, the tortoise. It's a tail. Uh, it's the tail of the tortoise, and the hair, hoof, and hide the truth. That's what we've come up against. Is is it really true that cows are herding tortoises, and that's why? The Bundys ended up saying at one point, no, I'm not going to pay you any more mismanagement fees to the BLM. And at such point that they came and says, no, you're not taking our cattle. And at such point where uh, they stood there and said no. And along with a lot of other folks, hundreds that very day and thousands over time, come to say no, not because you say so. There will be no governance at, a point, at the point of a gun. And that's what America is. Uh, right here. Thank you, uh, anti Mr. Uh, Riley Hart, and uh, known as uh, many other monikers, uh, a few others, that is. Cannon Shots Labor Day Parade from 2010. I, I believe we can play uh, America right here, and we'll leave it right here in the, quarter, uh, in the recording, and we'll play just a little less in a minute or so. And think about what... What is the American way? What is America supposed to stand for? Is, is America the government? These crooks and, and frauds that are supposed to be represent, representing, presenting for us to... No. R, R, e, no. Uh, I guess you'd have to infer writing into that uh, verbal expression. R, E. Are you crazy? No, we're not crazy. We may see what's going on. These guys are uh, serving themselves through uh, and the self the special interests that uh, continue the uh, caucus stockercy. Let's 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 just thank you, uh, anti Labor Day parade, Wadmala Island, South Carolina. What is America? It's a place we can be free. A place that we're supposed to exist. Where our right should not be infringed. In the pursuit of our life, liberty, and our property to maintain and keep what we work for. I'll put this video in. The radio log. Yeah, pick it up from there. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. America. Some people are confused. And some people believe that we should be headed in another direction altogether and make all these wrongs right. Okay, I was flashing over here, and I don't, I'm going to come see if I can figure out what somebody's saying right about now. But I might have to scroll too far to see it. All right. I did. Let me take a ponder on the gander and uh, just say howdy to chat. Uh, thanks for coming on along, everybody, at uh, reallibertymedia.com. Um, I hope uh, there will be some other listeners here um, that otherwise have not come over here. And uh, 
maybe those who are the regular listeners here might take a different uh, approach, maybe in how we talk to each other. There's uh, or talk or type. What what really is it? Is it that reach of the the web? Do we, what what control do we have? Is it three foot? Can that three foot extend through the interwebs into this chat room right here and control the actions of others? And I want to ask this: uh, if you uh, if you'll see right here, let's just go grab a hold of it. I right hear Real Liberty Media. Uh, let me just go click on this post here, and I just want to make an example of this. Now, I'm not trying to be a tyrant or in control. Um, let's go click on view, view post, and then I'm going to do a copy and a paste, and bring it back over in here into the uh, chattersphere, where people uh, chatter about all that chitter chatter, chitter chatter. Oh, there it is. It says, Protecting Your Rights, Vincent Easley II. RealLiberty.org. A little spur off here from RealLibertyMedia.com. RLMRadio.xyz. So, am I serious about it? Yeah, I'm serious about it. Um, it's not a world where, well, I guess it kind of is. And it's it come this world where it's, it hurts my feelings. How far does this three foot Incursion. At what point, beyond words, does this? Hey, kiss. Uh, welcome to the chat. I come over. I normally don't say howdy unless I'm over along with Flash and everybody over here. But if, if you're listening right here and you're in the chat, just give us a hands up. Howdy, duty. Raise your hand. I'll put a now in right here. So kiss knows that uh, I'm broadcasting live. Oh, now and see that notifies me that me. <laughs> it's doing this deal right here that I'm doing. Uh, yeah, broadcasting. And we get into talking over here, this chitter-chatter we're talking about. Now, when does this right to say whatever you want to come into effect? I would like to compare. Um, well, let's take it over, perhaps, to some of these First Amendment audits that uh, uh, thank you, Juan Taco, for uh, I was sharing so I many. Wow, the... Uh, the other place over here, the other chat channel where uh, I hang out also, he is uh, doing a lot of chitter chatter. I'd have to catch up. Well, anyways, I want, I, and I have to bring this to bear right here at this channel, at this network. You can't be controlling people. You can't go in there and say, I don't like what you're saying. You can't go in there and try to bait somebody into a fight, and then when you get a response, you say, see there. Now, if I can't be clear, impartial, uh, and absolutely stand as judge, and you can judge me, I stand for to be judged as well as I stand to judge. Judge not least, you be judged. That means not don't judge, or you get judged. So I don't want to judge because I don't want nobody judging me because I know I'm guilty. Well, hey, show me guilty. That's what I say. Innocent, you're guilty. It's not not guilty. You know, let's not play these tricks with words and stuff. Let's make a, a certain de declaration. Not with ad hominem. You can't run it in circles. Thank you, Juan Taco. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Uh yeah, run in circles or figure eights. What? How many ways can you run with stuff? So we've got to be true and fair and honest. I mean, we go back here talking about the uh, First Amendment audits. Uh, some of these cops want to react in uh, uh, retaliation, like uh, Prince, uh, who there in, in Vegas was arrested or nearly, but released with citation for putting his foot in the street. For putting his foot in the street. Then we get people like uh, Officer Garcia, no, Gonzalez, uh, and this other guy that came with a, a camera just trying to instigate trouble and being a, a general jackass uh, against the officer and another man, uh, the sergeant was out there against uh, uh, some restaurant. And just being a, proved himself to be a big idiot. Now, 
that cop really let him spank himself, the, the guy trying to do the audit. audit. I do 100% support the people being able to go and be as asinine as they want to be, and the cop has a higher standard and duty not to be intimidated into uh, uh, or uh, her, whatever, where they respond with uh, authority, which would be described as uh, use of color of law. All right. So there's a difference when we have a position of power. Uh, where we sit in a seat of decision, we have a higher duty and obligation. Uh, for myself, uh, I do it an audit, if that's what you want to call it, First Amendment audit. Um, I like to flash my badge on the badge, as it be, my laminated piece of paper. Real Liberty Media official right there. It says it, it is in black and white and even got colors. As a Vincent Easley, a press and a reporter, it's not just something that I just hung around my neck to go uh, harass people with. Uh, as a matter of fact, I probably stand back and give more respect to uh, to people from intrusion than, than most anybody out there I've seen uh, from the uh, mainstream media, for all the interaction that I had with those folks in Vegas and out uh, back in 2014, and, and along the way, going to to Denver uh, for Bruce Set, his trial. Um, it's a tough world. You got people um, dead or locked up for the rest of their life because they uh, they went about an interaction that uh, was otherwise. What? I, how would you put this? People. Uh, uh, have certain perceptions in life. Uh, we've evolved into a certain point of where we're at. So to think that you can just make statement and make things change, or by your denial or your standing in position of or against, that uh, you can make change. That's called being a dreamer, right? Uh, or is it not? To realize that you are in uh, the place that you are and how the environment, the rules of the environment, there's rules of engagement, and how they happen uh, in real life can affect your your life. Uh, you can get into the interwebs here, and, and some actions might affect uh, people's lives too. We see that uh, uh, social media pe posts have put people into prison. Todd Engel. Uh, interviews by fake media. FBI impersonating the the the, the media. Uh, Greg Burleson. Rest of his life. Gone. Schaefer Cox. Standing up. Set up. Bruce Doucette. Standing up. Set up. The list is long. People have been set up. Some have been knocked down. There's a set up for the takedown. It's a trick. There's nothing wrong with wanting to save the world. But when when you get tricked and given false information, it's where the lies come from. I want to go over here and collect these uh, dots here together. Not the, the end right here. And I'll have to scroll through down to get it. But this is a environmental control, the threatened word. What Matters. It's a Ponder Gander radio writing series. Number 13 in this uh, series of 13 and a half. This, uh, this half this half coming will be uh, ending this series and also be the restart of what will come uh, in redoing this. And uh, Sometime in the meantime uh, I think I'll be doing more of a well, a little something different. I'll talk more about that at another time. But sometimes you, you make do with what you got. So Cowboy Up. Range Magazine, a uh, county sheriff, Cowboys Up to save a stranded motorist in uh, in the river. Yeah, the last of them pulled them out. Uh, here's a funny reply. But uh, you'll have to go over to uh, my Twitter to see all that I might be uh, mussed up about. Or not. Uh, 
Here's a mention uh, for Sky Reef uh, in Matters How You Stand. Matters How You Stand. Doug Knowles, another uh, guy that uh, in media there in, in Vegas, him and uh, Sherry Duvall from uh, Readout News, the two best for the real real news, the, what they call alternative media. So I posted uh, 22 hours ago the threatened word coming soon in a perfect world, and that'll be Tuesday. And uh, I'll have more to say about Tuesday coming up here in a bit. But I want to tell you about how water always seeks its own level. The path of least resistance leads to crooked rivers and crooked men, said Henry David Thoreau. Lamenting, uh, let's say that again, lamenting on why Jake Spoon found himself on the path he did, Gus Pine this quote to Newt. And that's uh, Larry McMurdy's Lonesome Dove. That's one of my five. There's a thing trend, trending on Twitter. Twiddle, twiddle, twinding twiddle? A Twitter twindle. <laughs> I don't know, your five favorite movies of all time. That's right up there at the top. Forrest Gump, uh, 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 Joe Dirt. Yeah, great. Those uh, those are going to be up there, would be up there in that top five, I'd say. Certainly, uh, I like it. So, uh, thanks to uh, Carol Sings on Twitter for her wisdom, uh, Wednesday wisdom on that post. Anyways, if you follow her, realize it's adult content right there, but... She's a pretty incredible writer. I, I like uh, some of that poetic uh, artunication that she's got going on there. But if naked pics offend you, do not look. Um, and big wishes. Happy birthday there. A uh, little past the absolute blast the <laughs> of your birthday. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, Woodrow... If you had Woodrow Call and Augustus McRae and Lonesome Dove, the book uh, is great. I've read the book, listened to the audio book, read that book, actually, physical, all, all of them, uh, watched the movies. Yeah, the book is definitely a lot different, like uh, usual, than the uh, the book it was. So, uh, also, Word Refiner. I've been following this guy here at Twitter. I, I like his... Uh, uh, his wit there and wisdom that uh, he shares along the way. So, um, if you want to wail on me, make sure you spell it right. It's uh, <laughs> Huck Finn says this Pat that he used to always wail on me when he was sober. <laughs> uh, yeah, or wail on the drums like in a song, but uh, it's not W A I L, but wail like a like a Moby Dick. R Cap may have might have a problem with this in his limit. <laughs> he might be wailing at the whale. <laughs> right. Here I say now I'm pulling this from Pro Writing Aid, uh, what is retconning and why does it make readers furious? Now I pulled out of this some special uh, content for myself and my experience and uh, that's generally what I try to talk about is my experience. And interaction. So, I've discovered some time ago upon my ponder gander of the press or so called media of the mainstream how they're little more than paid propagandists. Now, what I also discovered is how new information changes the story by replacing the form or content of a previously established narrative. What? That's a sick setup. For the takedown. After the fact changes, they get a check right here on this paper propaganda. For fact versus fiction to ponder gander retconning. That's a wander on the wander. <laughs> I hate saying those two words together. But anyways, from Pro Writing Aid, I'll have to. Uh, I'll just do that. I'll do that. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and because I'm usually now I've pre-built uh, the broadcast that uh, I only have part of it and um, I'm building it now or not right now I started it and we'll just put that status in there where'd it go what happened to it there it is and now it appears yay 
But anyways, let's uh, let me go back over here and look at it again. <clears throat> what what does this really mean? Replacing uh, this content, this new information. Well, they're talking about writing, and specifically, this article was about uh, Harry Potter. Uh, Rawlings, J.K. Rawlings, how uh, she added like information that was like, well, if it was so important, why didn't you have this begin with? And now it's like uh, trivial, and it's almost like in inserting the same kind of deal. You'll have to go look at that and see specifically what I'm talking about. They're writing it's it's relevant and not relevant. So I think uh, Flash pulled this up yesterday, and then he got off into what was actually the content of the article. Now. Um, I'm taking it as the idea uh, distributing maybe this might be a lesson I've learned from Hal uh, just presenting this very idea so inserting that Dusseldorf or whatever that uh, one guy's name was at Hogwarts uh, uh, he, is a, he was gay and it was like this all the whole book was all over and so why why if if it was for what pro, uh, for, for to get more readers why didn't she have it in the say it in the book before but anyways you can go read the rest of that my my point on uh, this ponder here is that uh, uh, along the way through history we all know right they uh, history is, is written by the, the conqueror right the victor not my brother victor and not a variance of my name vincent is uh, victor victorious yeah what did you put over there yesterday vint vint Graminer, you have to repost that it was something con of con convinced or vinced. Yes, vinced. Do you dict it or you did it or all those other dot things. Anyways, what, squirrel? <laughs> Grammy, it's your fault. You let your squirrels get loose running about. So anyways, let's, let's see how they've changed things along the way. And I talked about that. Back from the Taylor grazing out. Bringing, act bringing order. To uh, the range war, and then a uh, little conf confirmation change along the way, and then all of a sudden, what uh, you know, you'd bought it'd be like going and buying a uh, car, and then somebody coming back and saying, uh, nah, you can't keep it. Taking it back. We changed the laws on how you own that vehicle. They might just catch you on the road or something and pull you over and say, mm, nah. You don't have your papers right and take your car to jail. Yeah, you don't have to bond your car out. It happens, believe me. So. Or be careful how you interact along the way, though. Just saying something ain't so, don't make it so. But it seems to be that if you say something is so, then it is so, according to how the story is retold. Um, I think I said that all right. <laughs> Be the media. Yes, sir. Be the media. Mr. Chuck O'Chelly, five nights a week right here on his very own channel. Just come check him out. Chuck O'Chelly, the O'Chelly effect, where you, my friend, are the effect. And now this was a retweeted Twitter. I say that slow, so I made sure I said it right. And he says that uh, he suggested you contact Jewel E. Stan 1. That's uh, TV on Twitter also. Knows all the stuff, all the stuff uh, on this tech dirty land, and that she does. Probably one of the smartest people in uh, this entire world on the matter. And I'm not saying that loosely. So writing is a calling. It's uh, it's worthy of praise. Don't give up. The only way to conquer your commission. Wait a minute. Can I read it right? So don't give in. The only way. To conquer your commission is to stop believing the lies. And then, pick up your weapon, your pen. Don't let discouragement make you shut up. It's time to speak up and write. Ponder Gander. Wander on the wander. 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 Or, is that a duck? What a duck gum. A gander says. Whack, whack, whack. Anyways, yeah. If we become convinced... When we're when we're young, that we're worthless or no good, that we're most at what we're most passionate about, we'll never pick up a pen. Uh, people get kicked around in real life. You don't not even just a kid, you know. Well, we're 
I'm a kid. I, I'll probably never grow up anyways. But, uh, uh, yeah. Stop kicking these kids around, man. Even if it sounds crazy to you. If they want to fly away like a ponder, take a ponder as a gander, let that goose go. And this is why I recommend that you give a listen to this person more than anyone else, and that is Hal Anthony, responding back to uh, uh, Bad Luck Jones. Yeah. I like what stuff, a lot of that stuff he's uh, posting over there. And that, I say, in uh, in comment to what I had posted, posted, and that is last week's Behind the Woodshed from Hal Anthony. The basic principle of power, influence, and control over people. That's what we find out. Dancing with the devil. The first step is addressing the aggressor. It's like a Pied Piper Ponder Gander behind the woodshed. Shed, and if you smell a rat, I do too. Check out uh, BTWRLM320, that R log, that radio report. So let's go see what somebody said to me. Hello. Who did that? Uh, Grimner, stop believing the lies. Sounds good. Vinny Tawaras is my uh, nickname and has been this week or so past, uh, which I'm hanging on to for present moment. How do you know which are the lies? Some things are pretty obvious lies. And you know, you can't have a... And all, you can't put an obligation on somebody else to give you the answer. You know, this is all self-seeking. We have a right to self-determination. We have free will. We have this brain that so many people leave off responsibility of over to some state of authority to control. This uh, mind control, in a sense, of us uh, controlling the mind, the government. Yeah, govern. Mint, mental. Governmental policy says, well, you may not uh, be free from sin if you sink into some certain thoughts, ideologies. Yes, thought crime, not only possible, but probably here now. Uh -huh. You'll find that in other things. And uh, back over here to where we was at, boys and girls. Yes, remember, behind the woodshed. There's 12 o'clock. Noon o'clock on the left coast of America. Sundays at reallibertymedia.com. <laughs> Here is my reply to Bad Luck Jones. I says, no worries. It's mostly rambling. That's me rambling at that point in time. Just wanted to let you know I like your twits, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> and where I'm genuinely engaged is at uh, Standing in the Gap Connecting Voices right here at RealLibertyMedia.com. Yeah, we're talking about obvious frauds. The bad luck part was in your honor there, buddy. Well, well, well. I guess I could give you a wink and a grope hog uh, a hug. I mean, it's just uh, yes. Groupons. <laughs> Groupons, yes. Get hugged at a discount. You can get it 20% off on Thursdays, matter of fact, from a Mr. Flash somebody right here at RealLibertyMedia.com. So I was reading really, really slow because I was looking for something else. Uh, <laughs> where was I? This thing was, I, I liked it. I said, uh, Pioneer on the air today, and somebody typed in chat, Pioneer, that was Anti that did that, but now we're back to the redneck hillbilly southern fry slice of country type of talk. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Alright. Let me go over here. I want to say, uh, go over and check out uh, Cowboy Uprising and uh, Liberty Rising, LaVoy Fennec on the YouTube channel. At, uh, take a look back. Over to Readout News, Lavoie Finnegan uh, Analysis. There's some new uh, videos out from Elias Al Alias uh, here. 
So Kurt Cruz added uh, three more forensic videos to the uh, series examining the assassination of Lavoie Finicum. These three new videos raised the total in the series to 11 outstanding vi videos. Each of these videos impact important insights into the murder of Lavoie. I hope many of you will want to spread the links around the more people who become informed about the government's criminality in this deliberate assassination operation the better are the chances that Jeanette Finnegan's wrongful death lawsuit will be successful. You can see more, more at onecowboystandforfreedom.com. Uh, you'll find stuff from uh, Jeanette and also uh, some from her daughter. She's written a book. Uh, Looking at a little closer there, this is the... Uh, uh, I'll put this in the R log here from uh, Readout News. Thank you, Sherry Duvalli, wonderful person. Again, one that I have great respect and admiration from. Who, one of whom that uh, the many people there that I met in Las Vegas that gave me great inspiration. Her and Doug Knowles at the top. Uh, also, um, you know what? I neglected um, a bit of the other side of the issue and back up. Whoops, wrong way. Come and go to home and. See how quick I can get to this. Uh, to uh, I gotta go, gotta go down just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. Where's it? Where's it? Nope, not yet. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Where you at, Jerry? Ba -da 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 -da. It was about be the media, be the media. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on. I think uh, I must have passed it. I certainly did. Doggone it. Jerry. But anyways, this guy she was talking about here, I think it's important that I find this. I want to be sure to include this. Where'd you go? Um, I've got to find it. Just bear with me. The bear necessities. There it is. Be the media. That, yeah, I was talking about... Um, Mr. Chuck O'Chelly, remember? So, it, here we go. And I didn't open these up. I had these links. But anyways, from uh, Cherry Wilson at uh, CTRN Newsfeed. Uh, this is a great book by that name. There is a great book by this name. Be the Media, at Be the Media on Twitter. Twitter written by my friend David Matheson. And then, period. And then she says, learn to do it right. Yes, indeed. Uh, I have a... Cherry Wilson goes at the top two of another list that I have, and that is people that would be perceived of uh, as being other than the uh, perspective of Poot, which I will take the title Poot. And if you don't know what Poot is, then it's the people that uh, were there, part of the uh, uh, opposition to government occupation at the Bundy Ranch in Malheur, and uh, the artunication is long on all of that as I say. But anyway, so go look that guy up for yourself. He's a very big, high-up person in uh, data, uh, this grand revolution of data storage and um, where it's going into the future. And, of course, all this will be into AI, the artificial inter intelligence. The, the, the brave new world that we're headed to where we don't have to be afraid because... We can take it, have it taken right out of our mind before it becomes a problem. <laughs> well, problem for who? Yes, indeed. It certainly, certainly would be. But, do, no, seriously, Cherry Wilson at the top of the list. She takes the time to be polite and, and uh, respectful and interactive. Because a lot of people don't do that uh, because they say, oh, you're stupid because you're not what, what I think. So she would be considered a leftist, and uh, I would be in some cases, too, and also on the right, right down the middle, but uh, I'm everywhere. Squirrel, <laughs> get that one right there. I'll get you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, crazy world. How do we get through it? We're trying, we're trying. I'm trying. Uh, did I read this stuff? Oh, no, I've gone back too far. This is some notes from... Uh, I have a writ here says you'll stop eating Chen Li's cornmeal forthwith. 
Now that's a rip, rip for a rat, and this is a lawful service the same. See, he doesn't pay any attention. Bam! <laughs> John Wayne he shoots the rats, mister. <laughs> Well, look, we're coming to the end of the uh, hour here, and I do know that I played about 10 minutes of uh, Ammon Bundy at uh, the uh, Liberty Effect. Uh, gotta go check that out. Listen to the rest of it. I like Ammon. He's a friend. Uh, Brian Hyde, also a great friend. Uh, two people I have a lot of respect for. Uh, Emma's mother, Carol Bundy, uh, those two share the same light and reflection in their eyes, and uh, it's a softness and a tenderness of heart. <clears throat> people will call these folks criminals. Uh, they call themselves Christian. And, uh, you, you call them what you care to. Uh, I'm standing in witness and uh, continuing to stand in the gap here at RealLibertyMedia.com. Uh, I'll have an announcement uh, Tuesday with uh, uh, Mr. Flash, somebody, that I'll tell you more about it. I'm fixing to jump out and uh, into the wild world about me a couple of different possibilities that I'm going to have to make a quick decision on. Where do I go? Well, I will, I'm not going to tell you to go where to go, that is, but uh, if I do, I hope I can do it in so that I'm encouraging you to do it with a smile on your face. <laughs> Take the double entendre there, please. Thank you very much. Listen, this is the, the Freakers Friday. It's free, spelled with two E's, the double E, free. The Freakers Friday, y'all. Uh, come on along at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Grammy blessed off in a rocket chair. Right here where you're listening now. And at 11 p.m. Eastern, we'll have uh, the great Grimner and the Mighty Moose Girl for the Freakers Ball, y'all. And unless it's balls to the walls. And that is putting the balls to the wall. If Moosey ain't there. Tomorrow... Is the Dork Table Edition. If for those folks that do not need therapy, Flash Somebody host and continually tries to capture a hostage. We'll see if he's successful or not. We will see. Sunday is a big day right in here at Real Liberty Media. You come on along about a quarter to twelve. And that's when Grimner's kind of tuning up to play some blues. You can hear him intro. And uh, about the 15 minutes later, pop, there it is. Uh, go trivia jumps in, and people that got fast fingers and internet are pound, 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 pounding away in there. Come on along, have fun. 3 o'clock Eastern, that's new clock on the left coast. It's Hal Anthony from behind the woodshed. This is the most important two hours that you'll ever have to listen to. Now, you might be confuddled and confused, but just continue to wait through there if you don't understand. Uh, but come do, definitely. Let me go see what you say. Who said something what? Okay, here it is. You want a hint? Oh, I'll tell you in private. I'll give you, I'll just tell you exactly. Well, I can tell y'all. I'm fixing to jump out in the world here and uh, go do some things. It's either going to be go to Maine or... Uh, Go down the river. I think it's going to be raining a lot next week, so maybe the week after. But I'm going to go send Kip out. One way or another. Uh, now, the other would be if I go to Maine, I'd up to Caribou, then jump over to Katahdin. And who else said what? Uh, to Katahdin in White Blaze, the Appalachian Trail. And then uh, hit in, land into uh, Damascus, Virginia, and then up to to uh, walk into Kingsport, Tennessee and go back and redo my trip there and to the uh, graveyards and um, the visitation of my ancestral homelands from the 1700s. And then oversee Dan in Tennessee and Irwin up in the high mountains in Tennessee. Anyways, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do until I've already done it. Um but I'm tempting myself, my gypsy blood is boiling, to uh, run out there. But I'm I'm definitely going out in the woods. But I'm going to, uh, I'll be disengaging from Internet. I'll just tell you now, there's no need to, there's no secret about it. But I'm going to, uh, other than uh, maybe spot uh, here and there, 
jump in just to check on something or um, put in an update on what I'm doing. I want to shoot some video anyway, so I'm going to head out on the river and do some camping. I think I can get a canoe from my friend, but anyways, my uh, my really good friends are getting a buggy, a brand new big old buggy, one of them, you know, off-roader things that uh, goes about anywhere uh, this weekend. So, and like I said, I think it's supposed to be raining next week. But anyways, I'm headed out uh, into the wilds. I'm going to set me, I'm going to get me a real nice spot out there and poke around up and down the river. River's pretty high right now, so yeah, there's all these contingencies. But my uh, friends are headed back to Maine in the middle of the week, and I done told them I'm threatening to, to go with them. I said, "Come on along." Hey, somebody befriend that duck. Get him, Chloe. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. She got him. Woofy. All right, let me go back over here. We're uh, we're back to the schedule then. Wait a minute. The schedule where I left off was with Hal. Wait a minute. That brings us for Grim Leftovers Monday night at 7 p.m. They're grim, but they're good. Come get some. Get a belly full. <coughs> right here at reallibertymedia.com with our Meister and Mr. Grim Near that runs this outfit. Chief cooking bottle washer uh huh Tuesdays is in a perfect world and that's where and I'm going to be signing off with uh, for a little while here with a flash in a perfect world at uh 1 p.m. on the east time uh eastern side of the country and uh, and that has been titled okay you guys I'll catch you in, I'll catch up in, in in a minute uh so the threatened word uh yeah, we'll go more on that right there. You're subject to control, forcing people to act a certain way. The threat and word. There's so many. The environmental control. That's what today has been. So anyways, I'm going to continue with the uh, paraphrase plagiarism that I took from Flash Somebody, the threat and word. And uh, sign off for a while. Uh, and when I come back, it'll be... Where I left off at uh, on this series at uh, 13.5, which will end this and kind of peel back into what was supposed to have been the way it should have been done. And uh, so back to the drawing board or uh, back to uh, uh, the outline. Uh, it, it'll, if, I don't have a problem with not doing things the best because, you know, I'll just do it again. And, uh, you know, it's learning along the way, all the way. Wednesday, we're back. For another blast off edition of Grammy in a Rocket Chair, 7 p.m. Wednesday Eastern Time. Thursday is right there. This is the place you get your discount now. Come on along. Flash Somebody is doing 20% off. Such a deal. So if you need a little extra discount, I can help you out. And if you got a little extra to throw in the pot, uh, look for the Real Liberty Media donate link. Help support. Those people that are behind the controls of this great machine that is the Real Liberty Media RLM radio. Thingy majigger. <laughs> yeah, for all the things, the services and servers and whatnot. So, yeah, thank you, Grimner. We do appreciate it. Um, yeah, and after that, it's back to uh, Fridays, where I may or may not be here still. I possibly am. Maybe, maybe not. I've not decided. I, I look. I'm just gonna throw it up in there and see how it lands, and I'll know more by Tuesday. Uh, anyway, so I appreciate y'all listening, and I hope that uh, some of this artunication filters through. I know I kind of mumble sometimes while I rumble, and yeah, but uh, I black your eyes sometimes if you get too close. <laughs> what matters, the Ponder Ganner. Thanks for listening, folks, and. uh Hey, come check us out. Show. See you next time. Bye-bye.